this presentation. Let's get started. For this, what are fossils? Fossils are remains of remains of plants or animals or human beings that lived long, long ago. And do you know why fossils are very important? Because they tell about Earth's past. And the word fossil comes from the Latin word fossilized, which means dug up. If we keep digging, 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 even deeper, then we can find a fossil. And I think this is a Tyrannosaurus fossil. Let's go to the next slide. Next slide is, where can the fossils be found? Which means, where are the fossils found? Can they be found in a house roof? No! Can they be found in a house window? No! Can they be found in a playground? No! And where do we find them? We find them underground. If we keep digging, 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 even deeper, then we can find a fossil maybe. And they're not only dug up from underground, also digging the found in sedimentary rocks, ocean, mountain rocks, even in snowy, pl even in snowy places, even in, tr even in trees, usually pine trees. Let's go to the next slide. Next is, Fossil formation, which means how are fossils formed? For example, a, f there was a dinosaur. Then the dinosaur just died and it got buried under the mud. Then the body tissues will get dissolved, leaving a skeleton the behind. The skeleton, the skeleton will get replaced by the minerals of the underground water. Then it will get hardened and it will get sealed in rock. This process is called petrification. Let's go to the next slide. Next is types of fossils. There are mainly two types of fossils, body fossils and trace fossils. Body fossils are the actual remains of plants or animals or human beings that lived long, long ago. For example, it could be a branch, a tree branch, wood or skull, bones or the skeleton or anything. Next is trace fossils. Tra trace fossils could be a footprint, animal poop, which is very stinky, and an impression of a leaf. And I think this is a picture of a baryonic fossil. Let's go to the next slide. Preserved in amber. For example, for example, some some animals, some animals like spiders or grasshoppers, got trapped in the resin of a sticky pitch in a tree. Then the spider, then the spider will get preserved in there, and it will get hardened into a fossilized form called an amber. You can see the spider inside the whole amber. <laughs> Let's go to the next slide. Next is turn it into a stone. I already told you about this in fossil formation. First, there was a dinosaur. Then the dinosaur died and it got buried under the mud. Then the body tissues will get dissolved, leaving a skeleton behind. Then the skeleton will get replaced by the minerals of the underground water. And then it will get hardened into a stone and it will get sealed into a rock. This process is called petrification. And this is a Dimetrodon picture because this is a spine. Let's go to the next slide. Next is trace fossils. I already told you about the trace fossil could be a footprint, impression of a leaf, or something even stinky. And about pew. Let's go to the next slide. And this is an impression of a leaf and a footprint. Let's go. Next is mold, mold and cast. For example, a dinosaur was a dinosaur died, then it got buried under the mud. Then the body tissues will get the cell leaving a whole impression. This impression is called a mold. Then when the minerals of the underground water fill up the whole impression, then it will start to crystallize and make a cast. Let's go to the next slide. Next is fossil hunters. F fossil hunters are scientists who study about fossils. We know they're called paleontologists. Paleo means prehistoric. Paleontologist means people who studies ancient histories. And do you know what's interesting about that? Paleontologists don't need to break or damage the fossils to study. They use some modern equipment like some 
x-rays, cameras, or scanners to check what's inside the fossil so they can study without breaking or damaging them. And they use some hammers to uh, free the fossils that's in the rock. I'll come to the next slide. Next is museum fossils. And do you know what's interesting about that? Do you know museum fossils don't have the original fossils? The original fossils are very heavy and delicate and precious. So if they put that in the museum fossils, in the museum, then some people could break it or damage it. So they use some other equipment like steel frame to make duplicate fossils that look very similar to original fossils. This is a triceratops original This is a triceratops and this is a sauropod. Let's go to the next slide. Next is living fossils. Some animals and plants look very similar to the fossils that were found millions of years ago. For example, a seal can fish and a kinko tree. Those are living fossils. Let's go to the next slide. And this is a seal again. <laughs> next is dinosaur fossils. And do you know what's interesting? There are dinosaur fossils found. Uh, for example, a Tyrannosaurus fossil, which is the king of the dinosaurs, and a famous dinosaur, was found in Montana, USA. A Triceratops fossil, which is my favorite dinosaur, was found in Canada. A uh, Edmontosaurus fossil was found in was found in Alaska, as I say. An Argentinosaurus fossil was found in Argentina. So that's how it got the name Argentinosaurus. <laughs> and this is and a Margosaurus fossil was found in Brazil. Let's go to the next slide. Next is a Cryolosaurus fossil was found in the a cryovasaurus fossil which can change colors was found in the cold place on Antarctica. A spinosaurus fossil was found in Egypt. A velociraptor fossil was found in Russia. And a kitty and a veloc oh, a kitty patty fossil, which is the cute thing, was found in Mongolia. A Archaeopteryx fossil was found in Germany. Let's go to the next slide. Next is recap. All fossils are dug up from underground. True or false? That is false. They are not only dug up from underground, also they can be found in oceans, mountain rocks, snowy places, trees, and sedimentary rocks. And some modern animals are living fossils. True or false? True. There are some living fossils. All types of skeletons in museums are real. True or false? That is these fossils don't have the original fossils. They have duplicate fossils. Duplicate. A scientist who studies fossils are called paleontologist. The biggest fossil ever found is of a this is actually a dinosaur. A titanosaurus. And it was found in Patagonia. I hope you like my presentation. Bye!